science. <laughs> the thing that's used as a standard to demonstrate things. It really is useless, especially when proving the existence of a god, which is why this Carthiest guy has three easy, scientific steps to prove that a god exists. And he totally doesn't seem like he shouldn't be in the car at all. Hello, I'm the Skeptic, the British floating circle that watches people make extraordinary claims, and then I explain why I don't accept what they're saying. There's a logic argument for the existence of a god, and Stephen here has the answer. Now, I'm not suggesting that anyone in this video has been putting some unusual chemicals in their body, but, well, you'll see. And he gets to the conclusion that a floaty wizard exists without science. Huh, go figure. However, before we find out how to prove Godfrey is real, if this isn't your first sceptic video, hit the like, the subscribe and the bell and demonstrate the existence of a working algorithm. And a super thanks to those that hit super thanks in some recent videos. Left-handed Jedi, Ashton Fall, New Pitbull and Jerry O'Connor. Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe bestows leaves upon you. More hen. Go on, Stephen. Take the wheel. Or don't. I don't believe God exists. You know, this is uh give away. I'm sorry. I don't not nah, I don't believe God exists. That was another one. I'm sorry. What? Is he the embodiment of that meme that goes around where if God doesn't exist then how has anyone been far even has decided to use even go want to do look more like? Prove to me that God exists. Show me evidence of that of God's existence. I'd feel much happier if he just got out of the car. Don't be like uh 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 be like sure. I'll definitely do that. <laughs> uh, that's going to throw them off. Hang on, what? What are you talking about? Are we coming in midway to a conversation with yourself here? Did you start talking and then remember to hit record five minutes later, but just carry on where you were? Pfft. This video isn't even a response to another of his videos, because there's only one video on his channel. Totally do it. Who cares? Because you do have proof, and I'm about to give it to you. All right. Oh, great, my dude. The pre it's called the preconditions of intelligibility. You use it. They use it all the time, every day of their life. Every time they walk out their door or get up in the morning, when they breathe, they're using these. Okay, I'm, I'm about to explain it. The first precondition is absolute morality. Absolute morality? Um... Uh... Okay, but please don't say that morality comes from an imaginary being that thinks wiping out the entire planet with a global flood because some of the people it apparently created are acting in a way that the floaty imaginary being didn't agree with. Okay, absolute, absolute morality exists. We know absolute morality exists because if you say, if you give somebody a, a really hardcore, crazy um, scenario like torturing babies for fun. For fun? Who's torturing babies for fun? So as long as you're not enjoying yourself whilst doing it, it's okay. Have you been attending the Eric Hoven School of Ridiculous Sayings? A boy ape stands up and he's like, I ain't gonna be an ape no more. A girl ape stands up and she's like, me neither. When is it okay to torture babies for fun? When is it okay to torture babies and not have fun? Never, unless you're a psycho, right? And we can both agree that you have to be a psycho to say it's okay to torture babies for fun under any circumstance, you know? <clears throat> uh, Torturing anyone for fun sounds pretty psycho. Absolute truth. Absolute truth exists. Oh, there are no absolute truths. Well, that person just made an absolute truth statement. So, well, well, that's an absolute truth statement you just made. So, you're, so anything... We, we do know truth. We have truth. We know that something can be true, you know? Well, can you prove it? Uh, laws of logic. Laws of logic. A car can't be in... That's the third one. A car can't be inside the garage and outside the garage at the same time, you know? We know that to be true. It's, it's a laws of logic. We share... We have that common ground. We know it exists. We know that it happens, you know? We have those preconditions. I don't even think this is an argument for the existence of anything. You're just saying, we think and notice stuff. Uniformity in nature. I'm giving you four. Uh, there's technically just three. It will be absolute morality, abs uh, laws of logic, and uh, uniformity in nature. But I like to add absolute truth because that kind of coincides with absolute uh, morality. So it is three then. You're just adding words to fill time. Uniformity in nature is not to be confused with uniformitarianism. Uniformitarianism is rates and conditions has never changed in the whole world, you know, and we, we know, we know, you don't have to mention this stuff, but you, we know that is not true because of the global flood and things might have been different then. We have fossil records of huge cockroaches the size of a 
of a surfboard. Dude, making stuff up will not get you anywhere. I don't know how big the surfboards are where you're from, but where I'm from, they're much bigger than three and a half inches. You know, it, it's, it's crazy. You know, we got some crazy stuff out there we found. All right. But either way, racing conditions have not been exactly the same. So we're not promoting uniformitarianism we're promoting uniformity in nature when you go outside you can trust tomorrow that the gravity is going to work in your favor and not send you off flying into space you know we have that control we we know that there's control and uniformity in nature do you think that there's a switch in the earth that controls gravity if we controlled gravity i'd definitely be in a flying air car right now so those are the three conditions or preconditions of intelligibility that prove God's existence, that prove that God exists, okay? But how? You just said some words, didn't demonstrate any of it, and then said, well, that's a God proven then. Sorry, dude. Absolutely not. I could point out a few things and even make some things up and say that it's direct proof that Lisa the Rainbow Giraffe Leafy upon her exists. That is a more detailed answer to prove god exists you know obviously you've got the the minor ones where you can just say hey look at that building how do you know there's proof that there's a builder the building is the proof that there's a builder what if you find a painting in the middle of the woods you know I've, i i think we've talked about this before you know but that that would be kind of a minor one but if they if they're uh intelligent and they're going to be asking you these questions or, or seem to be like having having like a book smart kind of intelligent like a college student you know oh yeah curse those college students for using their brains i don't think we even have to touch the watchmaker fallacy right now even if you try and disguise it with paintings or buildings okay maybe we do perhaps the fact that the universe slash earth doesn't behave like a watch painting or building so it's not the same but the fact that there is so much about the naturally occurring that is terrible could be taken as non-god evidence they're going to ask you those questions and they're going to expect the preconditions of intelligibility answer, which now I gave you so it's super easy. Now, when they say, well, those could exist without God, ask them to, to show you an example of how that can exist without God. Aren't there no God explanations for things already? The trouble is, believers then get all annoyed that their God isn't needed and say that it's stupid. That's not how things should work. You know, especially use absolute morality because that's the easiest one. That's the strongest one. Morality is the strongest one. Nah, my dude, is it okay to end the life of babies if the baby's parents annoy you? No? Well, the God of the Bible does that. Because how can you say, you justify, I know you know it's wrong, but how can you justify it within your worldview, within your worldview without God, that torturing your baby is completely wrong no matter what circumstance? If you think that baby death without believing in a God is okay, then I hope you never stop believing in a God, because that makes you a terrible person. If you need a God to tell you not to harm people, then you have some serious problems. And that was fairly quick and easy, so here's another fella that has great reasons to believe in a God. You know, I always thought, if God existed, why doesn't he show up? Like, what's wrong, you know? Why can't I see him in the dreams and... Why some people say there is God, they saw him in the dreams, but I personally don't believe it. So I'm like, okay, so how can I know that God exists? So in this video, I will tell you everything that I know that makes me believe that there is God. So first of all, if you have, if you know anything or you have uh, experienced anything, just let me know in the comments so me and other people can understand and you know our our connection with god improves oh let you know of an experience to help you determine what did all this um uh, okay uh i once saw a rainbow so that's proof that the world was pooped into existence by a cosmic rainbow deity lisa the rainbow giraffe leaf be upon her so first of all number one reason i think is that the nature is just so complex it cannot be made by himself oh jolly good a look at the trees argument. You know, if the sun was just a centimeter close or far away, we would have been nowhere. There would have not been any humanity or any living thing. Just a meter, just a centimeter. Incorrect. 
The width of the habitable zone around our sun is about 120 million kilometres. So the planet would technically be able to have liquid water on it anywhere in that zone. But it's actually suggested that we could be up to 1.5 million kilometres closer to the sun before it would become unhabitable here. That's about four times the distance from the moon to the Earth. That's a long old way, buddy. And, you know, the the way it's made, like how food comes from the soil and how cl- clouds are there, how the sun is there, the, the birds fly. It's just so complex. Is it, though? Or is there a natural explanation for all of that? And, you know, if, our, if all the plants kingdom, yeah, comes up and understands animals like tigers and all them they won't understand it and same thing with animals if like cat and dog if animals all together comes up and says and understands humans they would not be able to do it i don't understand what you just said what now if cats and dogs could understand they wouldn't be able to understand what? Why are all these believers high? Same thing goes with um, humans. If humans all come together, they will not understand uh, how God exists. They will not be able to see God. But yeah, you tend not to be able to see things that aren't there. Because, you know, they don't have the understanding. They obviously can if they, you know, if they are very spiritual and, you know, they all do good stuff. They are pure, righteous, and then they can do it. But if they're just, you know, their negative emotions are so down, they do sins, God won't show up. And if you're righteous, if you pray and you do good stuff, then God eventually will show up. So God can't show up, but will show up if you believe in it first. But it can't if you do the things that the God says is bad. But if you pray, eventually it might. Huh, how on earth is any of that believable? So it's like that. And other thing I believe is that there is just no way that we just came up of you know some how uh, it's just so weird you know adam you know the first human he was made by soil uh, mud well he wasn't because that's not true buddy it's a story there's no proof that adam and eve were real people so accepting them to be real is a little silly so how is that possible? And like how how weird it is that we're made from the the tummy from mom's tummy and we're made from and grown up to be so huge. We're made from mom's tummy? You do know how babies are made, right? It's just not it's not accident. There must be a being, a powerful being who can do all this, who can control all this. I personally think, you know, a tool maker technique that people use a lot, that if somebody made a tool, there has to be someone who made a tool, and obviously there is someone who made a tool. So it's just, I don't believe how atheists believe that God doesn't exist. How? Easy. None of the gods that people say are real have met the burden of proof of their existence. That makes it pretty easy to say there are none. I've been saying it for years and no god has ever come to me and said, Hey, skeptic, I am real. They believe in Big Bang and science, but who made the science? No one made the science. It's just a word used to describe a process. God did. They don't understand it. It's just weird. They don't understand it. Are you sure it's not you that doesn't understand science? I'm just so afraid what will happen to them because it's not great that they don't believe in God. And you know, everything is happening in this world. The You know, all the weird stuff and all the bad stuff. It's because God is not happy. We haven't accepted God. I personally think that's the reason why, why the things are happening. Because we haven't accepted God. And once we ha- when we accept God, then the things will happen uh, purely. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A God that probably has the power to convince people that it exists, but decides not to, creates bad things to show that it's annoyed that people don't accept that it's real? <laughs> Hang on now. Doesn't that sound stupid to you? It would rather create bad things than just prove it exists. Doesn't sound like a God worthy of worship to me. Thank goodness I'm not convinced it exists. You know, karma, do you mean... Do you- 
believe in karma. No. I do. I do believe in karma. You know, I believe karma is nothing but God. God is karma. You know, if you do bad things, karma will come to you. It's not karma, it's God. Replace karma with God. Replace the word God with coincidence and it gives you exactly the same result. Like, I don't understand. And you know, the dreams. I know people, my very close relative, that can predict the future by, you know, they get a dream, yeah? And the next day, the dream gets fulfilled. And it's crazy, like, they know what will happen tomorrow. Like, it's just crazy. Do they, though? Give an example, dude. If you already believe in that stuff and someone says, well, this happened to me and I predicted it, you just use that story to further cement your position. It doesn't mean it actually happened, though. And still, people don't get it. Like, do can you see the wind? Can you see the air? But the air exists. We can breathe air. So it has to exist. So same thing with God. We can't see God. So that doesn't mean that there is no God. But you can demonstrate the air exists. You can do very simple tests that demonstrate the effects of air. And that cannot be said about a God. You know, there is so much evil in this world. And you agree that if there is a lot of evil, then there has to be um, righteous too. Like, it can't be like... Um, there can be just evil in the world. There has to be righteous too. It has to balance. But where is the evil? I admit, there are things that have a negative effect, but is that actually evil? Or just a series of unfortunate events? So, I don't agree that people don't believe in God. I just personally don't believe that. How can they believe that there is no God? You know, all those, uh, all the bad things are happening in this world, the Satan, demons, all the things. If there is evil, there has to be righteous. It, there is nothing. Bro, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. All those news stories of Satan and demons doing things. I mean, seriously. They've got to stop. Bro, I'm telling you. Day by day, people are becoming atheists. Like, more people are becoming atheists. It's not declining, it's increasing. Because you, they say, oh, my, my prayer, my dua, or my pray doesn't the guy accept it so there is no god but they don't understand that in order to to for your prayer to be successful you have to be kind righteous pure like just pure soul why would you pray anyway if a god has a plan and knows everything your prayers asking for things won't be answered because you're asking a god to change his mind but they're not that, so their prayer is not going to get accepted. But yeah, bro, I'm not going to take most of your time. So just go in the comments and do what you think is right. Just give me your opinion and just join. Uh, go to the description down below and just join. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like so you can get my notifications. And see you, bro. Uh... Thanks, bro. I still don't believe that a god exists, and I feel justified for taking that position. So neither a car theist nor a bro theist managed to prove a god, but good on them for trying, I guess. But word salad is word salad, and I feel like I've been tossed enough for one video. Sorry, fellas. I actually like science and all the things it demonstrates. But you may think all of this was a load of ball, and these guys did have good reasons to believe in a god. Let me know in the section below. I'm going to skeptic this as another couple of carbrotheists dealt with. A big thank you to this month's top level ticks on Patreon. Dark Ether Piao, Tamo, the barely bearable atheist, George, Godless Granny, Addy Rockart, the Enixes, Jakari, Elizabeth, Whiskey Tech Fred and Rick, as well as all the $3 base ticks. You can become a supporter on Patreon too at patreon.com slash the skeptic. The link is in the description along with links to all my other socials. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. From me, the skeptic stay safe keep thinking logically and ask questions skepticism is the first step towards truth see you next saturday